Hello everyone and welcome to another Wish Doctor video. My name is Goran Lindquist and perhaps you have seen this video before but I got to my intention that uh, there was no sound or almost no sound in that video so I'm actually redoing this video to give you a little bit of my voice as well. Uh, not easy with a new mic and some new applications to record it, taking some time to to tweak it. I actually just did this video one more time, but that sound was too loud, so I have to redo it a third time. Let's let's cross our fingers and let's hope this will work. So let's get it on. So my name is Goran Lundqvist, call myself Witch Doctor, just for the fun of it and the gamer side of me. Yeah, you can read about me. I've been working with a lot of stuff with in-service now, both a customer and and a consultant nowadays, active on the community, doing videos like this, MVP and so on. But I guess you would rather see the widget than me. So what we're going to look about is the plugin that actually has the widget that will help you out. I'm going to show you how to easily put it on the page for the portal and then you just select some reports and you're up and running. So let's skip the boring PowerPoint and let's get it on. Let's go to plugins. And the plugin we're looking for has something with widgets. So let's search for that one. So the one we're looking for are this one. The performance analytics and reporting dash service portal widgets. I'll put that name in the description field of the YouTube video as well if you can't find it. But basically just click on that one, activate it. And since this is my third time doing this video, it's already activated. I didn't have the energy to reboot my uh, instance just to have this one inactive. Uh, you might wonder because it's named performance analytics and reporting. I don't know why there's now put the widget here because it doesn't really need to be performance analytics, but sometimes you find stuff in other applications that you can actually use without the licenses. I can't see how this can be licensed within the performance analytics and reporting. I have asked the question to service now as well, just to be certain, haven't got any response back. But if there are some issues, you can actually just copy the widget and, and put it on your page anyway, because it doesn't really use any PA stuff. So, now the plugin is activated. What we need to do is, I'm just going to show you what we want to do. Let's duplicate that one and wait for the URL. So we got our portal and basically we like to click somewhere and get to the reporting page and see some nice graphical charts and so on. So let's go to our designer. Let's create a new page. Let's call that uh, Super Reports. And I'll just copy the page ID for later. Now, if you haven't had the plugin activated in the wrote report, it will be totally empty. Now we can find it because the plugin is already activated. Let's put in some row 266. We'll hit report. We'll just drag in two reports here. And the only thing you need to do is hit the, the edit, the config. And let's get some open incidents because that's mainly where the data is on this dev instance. Let's have by category. And let's take one with priority. Good to know is that you can't use star, or you couldn't before. Okay, you can use stars, that's good. Open instant by priority. Wonder why it didn't work the two other times I did this video. So let's save that one. And you can see we've got a nice bar and a nice pie chart. Let's go back to our portal. Let's change the ID to my new page. And ta-da, here are the reports that's on your page. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to zoom in as well to make it a little better because that was one of the <laughs> stuff people were telling me that you might need to, to have some bigger resolutions for people on the phone and so on. But 
some nice looking graphs. The only bad part about this out of box widget that you might want to tweak is that if you try to click and drill down, it will actually take you to the back end. And kind of weird because even if it was PA reports, I didn't want to get here when I'm drilled down. I would still want to be here when the page has reloaded. <laughs> I still want to be here, I guess. So basically, this is a really easy way for you guys to start using reports on the portal and getting some value for it. So hopefully we'll see you soon and I'll start to try to record my virtual agent part two when we dig a little deeper into the agent and see what we can do. So see you around. Bye bye.